we've been trying to find out what love is. But we will never find it by trying to de get a definition out of a book or something of that kind. The only way that honest, simple, genuine love can be transmitted is by experience, by the absolute fact of itself. Are we able to be kind to each other? Are we able to forgive our enemies? Are we able to do good to those who despitefully use us? Are we willing to continue quietly in a meek way of life? Are we interested in the simple humilities of virtue? Do we want a happiness that arises from making others happy, rather than sacrificing them to our happiness? Do we want a happy home? Are we willing to support it by character, by integrity? Love is an experience of consciousness, an experience in the soul of man. It is something that is a great releasing power against the tyranny of personal attitudes. It is placing something bigger than yourself in the foreground of your life. It is dedicating to your acts to projects, to purposes, to convictions that are of common good to all mankind. Love is a mature emotion. It is not the mysterious bubbling of adolescence. It is a deep, lasting, enduring dedication. Love is not merely staying with it till it hurts and then walking out on it. Love is not merely getting into various emotional situations for profit, for gain, for social standing. There can be no selfishness and no self-centeredness in true affection. Also, love cannot be bought, bartered, or sold. It remains as it has always been, basically, the purest of all human emotions. And if it becomes adulterated or becomes uh, defiled, it is one of the most terrible adversities with which we must struggle in our course of, this, of existence. Between our love principle in our souls and its expression in life, is a strange personality equation, full of self-centeredness, full of false ambitions, full of prejudices and tyrannies and intemperances and intolerances. This personality, which we like to cater to forever, is not only a personality that brings tragedy to ourselves, but the compound of this personality has resulted in over 8,000 wars in the course of history. That is rather too many. And many of these wars have been fought to defend peace. We have fought also about religion and about the very brotherhood which we need so desperately. And yet, after it's all said and done, and we look around ourselves and we say, well, what can we do about it? It's, it's truly a terrible situation. And if it continues as it is, it'll be a fatal situation. So we're going to have to recognize that all the compromising that we do in order to accomplish our own personal desires, all these things, all this compromise leads to nothing. It never has succeeded, never can. For all this great struggle of competitive materialism ends at the grave. And we take with us out of this life only what we brought in ourselves. So with this, it shouldn't be so difficult for the individual to say to himself, let's make this daily life a little happier for everyone. Let's try to do it right for a change. 